Hi, it's Crystal here from The Daily Diaries and welcome along to my channel. This is where we talk about all things beauty and makeup related and also just whatever else comes up. I love accessories, I love fashion, I am obsessed with travel, it's my passion and I also am an advocate for people with endometriosis. So today <laughs> uh, I want to try out one of the products that I got in the Beautylish Lucky Bag. Actually, maybe a couple of the products, but specifically we are going to be playing with the Wayne Goss Luxury Eye Palette that I've already got fingerprints all over. It is the amber palette and I'm super excited to get that on my eyes and I want to test out this Sonia G uh, brush as well. I know overseas you guys say Sonia but we say Sonia like Anya. So <laughs> this is a brush that feels incredible. I've never used a Sonia G makeup brush before. I can't believe like because obviously they're very expensive but I cannot believe how this feels in my hand. It, ludicrous. It feels amazing. So Beautylish might have hooked me onto something that I can't afford to keep up. So anyway, <laughs> if you missed the Lucky Bag video, then you can go back and watch that one. And let's get into it. Oh, my lips, actually, already. I have something that did come in the Lucky Bag from Auric, and it is the Lip Ceramide Plush Ritual Tint. It's got the ceramides in it, and it comes in a couple of different shades. And this one is Haze, and I really... I like it. It feels so nice. Again, I've never owned anything from Auric before, but it's making me want to try more of their products. Mm, beautiful. All right, let me zoom you in a little. Oh, that's the lip tint up close. Let's get this palette on the eyes, and then I might try this with a blush or a bronzer. So, I'm going to take my Sigma... E25 Max Blending Brush, which I've been loving. This one I think was a free gift from Sigma. And dipping into the first shade, these shades aren't named, they're just numbered, but dipping into the lightest one here, because <laughs> why wouldn't you? And I'm just gonna tap the brush off. The palette feels incredible, by the way. It feels very luxurious, which is exactly what it's cold. <laughs> now I already have mascara on because I literally just finished filming the Beautylish Lucky Bag video and then I couldn't wait and I just wanted to try this on my eyes. So this is a beautiful base shade. Blends in pretty much perfectly with my eye. And so that's just going all over the lid and up almost to the brow there. Sweet. I wonder if I can use all of these shades. I feel like this could be a really nice bronzer as well. Like these could be nice powder bronzers. This could be a very versatile palette. <laughs> okay, so next I'm going to pick up the mid-brown. It's actually still kind of a light brown. To be honest, there's not really a mid-brown in the palette, but let's just taking this tart brush. Pretty sure again this was a a free brush I got with something. <laughs> oh, that's such a nice colour. That's perfect for my skin tone, just as a beautiful transition. Mmm. Do you know what? Just looking at this palette, there's a, a shade in there that would make a beautiful blush as well. Is that like a plan, Steve? And I'm just going to give that a little blend with this Refa O. No, Refa 14 brush. Of course, these are going on perfectly. And blending perfectly because they're by Wayne Goss and Wayne Goss is a legend who knows what he's on about. <laughs> Love him. Been watching him for years. That is so nice. That is such a beautiful just easy daytime look. Love it. Next we're gonna take hmm oh what just happened? 
Okay, I'm back <laughs> two and a half hours later because we just had a power outage. The lights just went out right smack bang in the middle of filming this video. So <laughs> now that that's done and I'm back, sorry if I look a little bit, you know, ragged. <laughs> I've just been throwing frisbees around for Billy. <laughs> so I believe we were somewhere around these parts. I was thinking I was going to use this eyeshadow colour. Let me zoom you in a little bit more. Honestly, that's never happened before. A power outage whilst filming. Very inconvenient. <laughs> okay, so I think... Oh, Loud. It's quite windy today, slamming doors around. Okay, so this time I think I want to use my little Odin's Eye brush to pick up this lovely brown shade, which looks to be a bit of a satin. Just tapping off any excess because they're a little powdery when I'm picking them up. Pretty. I think I want to wet my brush. I haven't actually read the details about the palette, so I don't know. Oh, Scheisenhausen. Today is not my day. <laughs> I just opened my tin of water upside down. So it's now all over the table. <laughs> Reset, refresh. <laughs> right, dampening my brush <laughs> with the eyeshadow powder. Can't believe I just did that. What an ink and poop. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. That's really nice. This wasn't an eyeshadow palette. I would honestly think that that was just a beautiful bronzer. <laughs> it's very pretty, very soft. You know what? I'm just going to go. I'm just going to keep this real simple. Going for brown all the way across the lid. This is just a really pretty neutral eye look. That's beautiful. That Like, it's so simple, but it just looks so nice. I really like that damp. Oh, yes, that's really nice. What a beautiful colour. It's basically just perfect for my, for my eyes, my skin tone. It's so simple and so pretty. <laughs> I know. Like, sometimes just a simple brown eye look can be so beautiful can't it anyway uh, <laughs> just for the sake of using more of the shades in the palette I am gonna take this deeper tone here and I will use far out I'm knackered <laughs> uh, I'm gonna use this little flat brush I'm doing a metabolic reset program at the moment through my naturopath, which has been a real slog <laughs> uh, for the last week and a bit. And I, when I get to the end of two weeks, I get out of the strict phase two and get to relax things a little bit. But uh, I'm so tired <laughs> and I'm eating very small portions of food at very specific times of the day with nothing in between. So five hour breaks, because the theory is that uh, eating grazing, which is what I normally do, like I eat tiny amounts of food, but kind of all day. Apparently if you have inflammation in your body, that can be more inflammatory. <laughs> So yeah, this is a whole different way of eating for me and I miss my bloody snacks. I just, I miss them. <laughs> just, I just want to have a handful of cashews or something. <laughs> anyway, this is, um, this is just what the philosophy is behind this program. I 
I'm not saying if it's right or wrong. It's just something I thought I'd give a go this program to see if it can help with all the inflammation in my body. Just realized my cat's on the lounge in here. I didn't even know she was in here. But yeah, it's really quite difficult. I also really miss my herbal teas. <laughs> I'm not supposed to be drinking any herbal tea at the moment and I don't like green tea or black tea. I mean, I have green tea if it's in like a fruity tea, <laughs> but not on its own. Well, that looks beautiful too. Just blending it out. Okay, now I want to go in, oh, I think under the eye with this shade. It's a little peachy number. Using... Um, <laughs> using this Ref 03 pencil brush. Just remember to tap these shadows off because they're a little powdery when you pick them up. But having said that, I'm not getting any fallout. Once it hits my eye. Beautiful. Beautiful eyeshadow quality. Of course. So glad. I got a Wayne Goss product in this Beautylish Lucky Bag. I'm so glad. I want to try some of his lipsticks and lip pencils and eye pencils, <laughs> whatever else he comes out with. Lip glosses. That's such a pretty color. Wow. All right. And the only color in the palette that we haven't used yet is this pinky kind of topper shade. A real topper style but gosh look at that that's so pretty oh, so nice so nice yeah, it reminds me of a Charlotte Tilbury uh, shimmer in one of my quads pop Bring some light to the center of the eye. It's definitely a little flaky, like, yeah, it's definitely a, more of a topper shade than anything else. But I think it looks very pretty. Now, just because we can, I'm going to go back in with that and use it as a blush. But first, I want to try out, oh. I'm gonna put eyeliner on. Jeez, I'm all over the shop. Sorry, guys. I feel like I was on track and then the power outage happened and I just lost my mind. <laughs> I don't know. But I think I'm gonna use my <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk eyeliner. It's right, we can bring this back. So, this is a burgundy eyeliner pencil that really needs to be sharpened. <laughs> suits this shadow palette. Like I said, I cannot wait to see the new products that Wayne comes out with. Because <laughs> he was saying, you know, that things weren't exactly as he wanted them to be, but this time they definitely are. So that's really exciting for him and for us. <laughs> Oh good, my battery's about to die. It's going very well. <laughs> Let me just change that. Right, I am back. Let's see if we can get to the end of this video in one piece. <laughs> so I've got the Charlotte Tilbury eyeliner on the top and I just popped in my ColourPop BFF gel liner pencil in I think it is Good Reef, yeah. Good Reef. And that's how that looks. So now uh, I'm just gonna pop a little wee bit of highlighter on. <laughs> just a little wee bit. I think I will use my Iconic London Roll Away Glow. I like to just swipe it directly on my face and just lay the like that. Oh, you want me to blend it? Yeah, okay. 
just just this once. Just use my sponge. Oh, this shade of Rollaway Glow is Peach, Peach Paradise. Oh, I really wanted to try using this as a blush, but I also really want to try using this Sonia G Cream Stippling Brush, which leaves me in quite the dilemma. Okay, what I think I want to do is I am going to just use a powder brush and pick this up and try it on my cheeks just for funsies. I actually don't have the right brush for that, so I'll just use this one, which is also <laughs> for creams. <laughs> oh my goodness me. All right, so I'm just, I'm going to really have to tap this off. That makes a beautiful blush shade. That looks so nice. I love that. And honestly, I definitely, definitely Think I could use this as a bronzer. Anyway, that looks beautiful as a blush. It really, really does. Beautiful. Let me turn the light down a tad. There you go. And just gonna dab some more of this auric stuff on my lips. <laughs> This feels so good on my lips. That is lovely. And that is just a really like simple, but flattering, beautiful makeup look with that palette. Yeah, okay, let's zoom you out. All right, that is the finished look using the Wayne Goss luxury eye palette in amber and I think it's lovely. <laughs> I think it will give you a very beautiful sophisticated brown eye look. I love warm browns so it's a winner for me and I think the formula is very mature eyelid friendly because of the formula. The satin is really nice on the eyes. It it gives you a little bit of something, but it's not super shiny, but it, yeah, it's just, it's a really lovely formula. It looks kind of silky and velvety on the eye. And I love the little, pretty little sparkle as well. That looks so pretty. Yeah, I really like this palette. Also, what I really like about this is I can definitely use this as a bit of a face palette. So yeah, I'm sure that would be a, a really good bronzer for me. This makes a beautiful blush shade. You can definitely use this in eyeliner if you want to. It's, I mean, that's, that's really cool. So that is the Wayne Goss Luxury <laughs> Eyeshadow Palette with my fingerprints all over it. Just adds that little artistic touch, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think that is everything we are going to try and get through today before my bloody power goes out again or my internal power just goes out because I feel like it might. <laughs> that, uh, yeah, that's everything. Please subscribe before you leave. Please leave a comment, uh, thumbs up. And yeah, I hope to see you again here very soon. I'll be back with a couple of new things to try out. I'm really excited to try out. I picked up one of the Violet FR uh, U Paint Twinkling. They're like liquid eyeshadows and the color is stunning. Just wait, just wait till I put it on my eyes. You'll see, but it is a spectacular shade of green. Mm. Can't wait. So that will be happening. I've also got a couple of e.l.f. the lip tints to try out and a new little split liner. It's teeny. <laughs> um, with a couple of brownie shades. So plenty to come. <laughs> I'll see you again here very soon at the Dally Diaries. I hope your power stays on.
Bye! <laughs>